Hello, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Wanted to start off the vlog. Christian and I are doing something this afternoon. If you remember back in January it, during the vlog, I mentioned how we were kind of thinking about maybe getting a garage here or some type of storage because this extra bedroom that we have is basically like a storage room and the closet that we have in there is stuffed to the brim it's like a small coat closet christian and i already share, uh, don't share closets he has one in like our main bedroom and i use the extra bedroom closet our apartment isn't big we don't have a lot of storage space and yes we're only two people we don't need a lot truthfully but we've been living here for three years and we're gonna resign for our fourth year and we just thought that we need some extra space. I'm, I never film in that room. You guys will see this room for the first time and then understand why we're getting a storage unit. And we've already brought stuff down to it. It's on, um, it's in our building. So we don't have to go to a separate storage unit spot. Um, but we did end up deciding to go with a storage unit instead of like your own garage, just because the garage was pretty expensive to add on and with us planning a wedding prices are going up for everything but that's like besides the point i just didn't want all of these monthly expenses to just go to bills so we got a storage unit it's in our building and it's actually in the exact building that we're we live in there's obviously multiple different buildings in our apartment complex so thank goodness it's in our building so we don't really have to travel far for our stuff we're keeping like our christmas tree coolers random stuff tools just like extra boxes that we hang on to for when we like move into a house or buy a house or wherever we end up next who knows and yeah so we're moving all of this stuff in this bedroom that is a huge eyesore that's just been piled in that room for three years and moving it to a storage unit downstairs and i'm really excited it will definitely open up the space it won't be so rough to look at i kind of just like ignore it let me just get into it show you what i'm talking about and yeah this is vulnerable of me to post because i don't want to share this but whatever it's just we it's a small apartment and this is what we have and this is what we worked with for the past three years and now we can finally like clear out some of the stuff and put it somewhere else so let me show you okay here is the corner of the room this is a dinner table tray as a bedside table please ignore UCF helmet, golf clubs, there was a cooler on top of this, another bag, there was a speaker that we already moved down so this is just like the corner of the bedroom <laughs> that this stuff has always been here and I hate looking at it. I hate people coming to stay into town because there's just like this and we don't have anywhere to put it and I'll show you why. And I've never really cared about the way that this bedroom looks. Like I just have never really cared. We're not in our forever home. We're just in an apartment and you don't need the nicest, best furniture, truthfully. And that's totally okay. Here is the closet that's off the bedroom. Let me just show you exactly what it has looked like for three years and this will explain why we are also getting a storage unit here um yeah here it is and there's stuff stacked up there this is embarrassing for embarrassing for me to show. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Everything's stuffed in here. Obviously, stuff that we need and use, like the free weights and this we'll keep, but like our Christmas tree can go down there. This box we just keep in here for when we move. Um, we have like a tent, all of our Christmas ornaments. Like obviously this could probably be better organized. There's like footballs in here and like other little coolers, a tool bag. We have our instant pot box that we never got rid of we definitely had more closet space in our other apartment but yeah this is just the reality of living in a really small apartment when you have extra stuff like this so we're gonna move all this stuff out clear it and bring it down to the storage spot that we got before we move start moving the stuff down to the storage unit that we got i wanted to try this out I want to try it first out on a weekend and then try it out during the work week and then compare and see how I like it. But this brand reached out called Magic Mind. They basically sell productivity shots that give you energy. They have adaptogens in it. It's like a smooth 
energy, helps with stress levels, and keeps it like at bay throughout the day. It has matcha adaptogens, vitamins, and neurotropics. Is that how you say it? So we're gonna try them out and see how we feel. So we're gonna take them before we start moving stuff and see how we feel at the end of the day. So it reduces stress, steady, calm energy, focus and clarity and benefits build daily. So here all, it just has all of these different benefits. Obviously, if you're taking any sort of medication for anything, just check with your doctor to make sure that nothing interacts with certain medications. I know with adaptogens or certain things, there's like little research done that it can interact with certain types of medications. So definitely double check before you just go out and buy this. Christian's also gonna try it with me and then we're gonna compare how we feel. Christian doesn't drink caffeine. Like he drinks caffeine like twice a week for like pre-workout, but he doesn't take like anything like this. So I'm kind of excited to compare our experiences with it. So we're gonna take this and then start loading stuff in the storage unit. And then we'll obviously update throughout the day or at the end of the day, depending on how we feel. Best enjoy chill but refrigeration isn't necessary. Drink alongside coffee or solo if you're caffeine sensitive. So that's another thing is you can drink this alongside coffee. It shouldn't like overpower anything or make you jittery like too much caffeine or you can drink it instead of caffeine if you're trying to avoid or limit caffeine if you do like two coffees a day or something. So we're gonna try it. Just take a sip first. You hate the taste? It's powerful. Christian hates the taste. I think it tastes like kind of fruity. I heard you sing again. I don't know if it's because I recently brushed my teeth. I don't know. I don't mind the taste. It's not bad. It's like tropical. It's definitely pineapple. Right? Tastes pretty good. So it has 12 ingredients. Matcha green tea, agave. Oh, it's passion fruit. Yeah. Vanilla, red beet, all these different. It has ashwagandha, rhodiola, turmeric. It has lion's mane. Wow. And it has all these different B vitamins. So I can link them down below if you're interested, but we'll keep you posted on how we feel throughout the day. And I wanted to experiment with Christian too and compare. So let's start moving all of the stuff down to storage unit. Everything is cleared out in storage. You can't win every single battle. The football helmet is still out. We have a gaming chair. You know, you can't always win. I wish things were a little bit different. Don't get me wrong, this definitely isn't the most aesthetic room. It just feels so much more clear and open in here without having literally that whole entire area just filled with clutter and a cooler, You, I mean, you saw. And I think we're gonna look into getting another desk. When we first moved in together, we got this desk and it's just like a basic black desk from Ikea. We kind of just like picked the cheapest thing just to get a desk. So we're kind of looking for something different. I don't even want to show you the bottom. There's so many like cords. Kind of want something with covers on each side if that makes sense and some drawers. Different color, something just better looking, but this is what we have for now. Just feels so much more open in here. Um, I think we want to start getting curtains for each room we honestly never did that i don't know why um but i definitely do want curtains i feel like it will elevate the room but we're not gonna obviously start getting a bunch of new furniture or anything because like i do want a new bed frame in a room and 
new bedside tables and things but we're planning for a wedding and I'd rather that money go towards a wedding and in a couple of years we can always change our furniture when we move into a house or move out of this apartment whatever we decide to do so a lot of the furniture we have is just stuff that we bought when we first moved in together four years ago Christian this is Christian's like old bed frame in our extra bedroom so it's not the most aesthetic bedroom but this is just the reality of life <laughs> which is totally fine I just feel so much better not having that whole area just like cluttered with stuff I cleared this Alex drawer off I had like perfumes and things on top of it and I just put it in my all the perfumes in my bathroom and here is the reveal of the closet I do have my laundry basket in here on the floor and it cleared up some room in my actual closet but so my laundry basket is down there I'm not gonna show it but golf clubs I mean they're in the closet at least extra hangers and then up here you know it's kind of there's stuff up here but I have my work bag in there <laughs> I need to get a new work bag so bad I had this work bag for I want to say over three years it's just like falling apart I need to get a new one and then we just have like a yoga mat and like a foam roller up there but having this closet cleared out my laundry basket on the floor just feels so much better and then I could kind of like spread out my clothes in here a little bit more and kind of I mean decluttered I did what I could I would love to have a dresser an actual dresser so I could get rid of these little bins with all of my you know sweatpants shorts leggings are all in there i would love to eventually get a dresser but um it's just not top priority so i just feel so much lighter <laughs> like i can breathe and i just cleaned in here vacuumed dusted wiped everything down i think that matcha shot <laughs> that i took earlier made me so productive i don't know if it's all in my head but i was just like cleaning wiping off literally everything i have this stuff on the bed because i had to put myself on a tripod because i wanted to share i got some belts from anthropology i love how belts are coming like back in style because i feel like my clothes some of my jeans start to gap in the back i feel like belts just keep everything more secure and they make things look cute they elevate an outfit like a basic style top and a pair of jeans so I ordered two little belts. Looks like that. It's just a basic belt. I got it in white and black. I thought the white could go with like an all black outfit too. It could go with brown. Like I just felt as though the white was a little bit more versatile than brown. Um, so I got the white. The only issue about ordering belts online is you don't know how they're going to fit, but I ordered them from Anthropology, and I know that I probably could go through a bunch of different belts, order a bunch of different ones, and the sizing might be consistent throughout them all. I got an extra small, and unfortunately, it it fits like my, my hips, but it doesn't fit high-waisted, and a lot of my jeans are high-waisted, so I think I need to add one or two loopholes and I went off the reviews and I mean there was reviews saying that they were worried like the extra small was going to be I thought the extra small was going to be too small so I don't know if the belts run big or not um now I'm punching holes in this I got this off of Amazon it's like a belt hole punch it's like eight dollars really cheap and I figured it was cheaper to buy this than it was to take it somewhere and have someone punch holes in it and I could I could very well return these and search for more belts or run into the same issue. I didn't want to go to the mall and look for belts. I feel like there's way more options online. So we're just gonna give this a try and see. I added this this hole right here. It works. So I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna add another hole. Okay, I think I might need to do a third one. Anyways, I can link it. This is what I'll be doing. I'll probably do it to both of them. I'll link the belts if you're interested. Got them from Anthropology, and yeah, I think they're super cute. They're not like too much, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll link them.
it is so much later in the day i felt really low energy today I don't know why I think it's because I took a Benadryl last night and I was like tossing and turning the whole night those never make me sleep and my allergies were really bad and I don't even really have allergies they were just kind of bad last night I just like have felt kind of off today but I just went to the grocery store Christian and I went to a UCF baseball game today and it was so fun it felt like summer it was just really great weather. We thought it was gonna be kind of eh. It is kind of eh right now. I just saw a really pretty rainbow before I left for the grocery store. But I tried to get all of our groceries from Target. And then three of the items that I need for the sheet pan recipe that I do, basically every other week, three of the ingredients were out. And it's like a five ingredient thing and I already have one of the ingredients. So I ended up having to go to Target to just get like a sweet potato, a zucchini, and a red onion. So I kind of just defeated the purpose of me doing my grocery shopping at Target because I had to go into Publix anyways, but whatever, it's totally fine. I didn't want to go during the week. I could have just totally gone tomorrow, but I just didn't want to. So, picked up our groceries from Target. I guess the good news was is that I didn't have to go around the whole entire public store. I just was in and out in like two minutes because I only needed the three things. So that's a positive. I wanted to give an update on the Magic Mind shot because I definitely want to take it during the work week. So I'm going to pick a day to take it during the work week and I'll update you guys in my next vlog how I felt during the work week. But I was very productive after we moved all of the stuff down to the storage unit yesterday. I felt like I couldn't sit still. I was like just like cleaning off every surface. I put the Roomba in each room. I was dusting, organizing. Just I wanted to almost take out every single item out of the cabinets and like re-put it back in. I re like organized underneath my sink. So I felt like I was more productive and I had that just like spring of energy. And it did give me the energy like a second coffee does without like the feeling of like the fast heart rate and like the jitters, if you know what I'm saying. Like sometimes the two coffees a day can kind of make you feel so jittery and your heart's racing to the point where it's like not fun, you don't feel good. This was like a good steady energy that kept me like awake throughout the whole day and I felt productive. So we'll see how... I like it during the work week. I'm actually really excited. But yeah, I did want to give my honest opinion. I'm going to have Christian take it again too. I almost feel like it's better to take it consistently for like a day or two. So maybe I'll try like two back-to-back -back days and let you guys know. I don't know. I'm really interested and intrigued by it. There's been like a ton of insane reviews when I researched the brand and everything. So many great reviews. So... I didn't want to just give you an update, but I will provide another update for sure. So, um, I'm going to go inside and we're going to head to dinner. I don't really know what I'm in the mood for. Something. Um, I'm just kind of like a little bit anxious to going into a work this work week. Um, my coworker got let go, not this past week, but the week before. So like last Sunday, I was really anxious going into the work week. And I'm just like anxious again. It is also just kind of lonely again, only just working with me and my boss. Um, I don't know if it also was because one of my favorite people in the office, besides my best friend Taylor, was on a cruise last week, so I missed her. But I just felt like it was kind of lonely. So it's just kind of a bummer. Um, I really liked having someone to just like chit chat with all day, I mean of course besides the working part and someone just that understood. So it's kind of a bummer, but I really think it's gonna be just me and my boss from here on out, which isn't a bad thing. We work really, really well together and I'm grateful for that. I'm actually just like grateful for a really chill, like laid back boss. Yeah, I just feel a little bit anxious going into the work week. That light just like came on, but anyways. I'm gonna go inside. That's just where my head's at. Kind of just been feeling blessed.